rainy day, y'all. Good rainy, stormy. Kind of a weird day. It's a day of a little bit of rumbling going on, a little bit of nervousness going on. As a child, were you afraid of storms? No. No. See, I, that's weird because I just always I enjoyed. I want to curl up with a book. Yeah. I yeah, love to yeah. just listen to Almost the rain. A comfort. Yes. Well, tornadoes are not comforting, and we want to share with y'all. We will be keeping you posted. Um, it's it's interesting because in the areas we serve, Cherokee County is supposed to get harder than Pickens County is going to be hit, and then Gilmer and Fannin North. We're not sure what to expect with them, but we're going to be trying to keep up with all of that and try to alert you. And for you Facebook guys, we're going to if you Very have much. things going on in your area, if you would call us at 866-939-2329. If something happens in your direct area, if there's a direct hit, we would love to know about that and be able to warn folks because in 60 seconds, the weather can change drastically. Oh, completely. And we've got a lull midday today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before the really, and this, this one this morning is not even the one that's supposed to be so dangerous. No. What's coming in tonight or coming in 3, 4 o'clock this mm -hmm. afternoon is what's been killing people down. Yes. Getting, getting here, so all of you be careful. It's just not worth, and all of you that live in mobile homes, be doubly careful. The young mother and her baby that were yeah, killed that over it, so that sad. was so sad so when their, far, motor, though, and the when their mobile two home rolled. This week. Yes, yeah. and yeah. she was in a small, what I call a small trailer, not like mm -hmm. not a like a big wide. double wide, right. just a small trailer, and it was not pinned down very well, yeah. and it turned over and rolled, and they were crushed. Well, I, I have to smile as I got dressed today. I'm like, is it summer? Is it winter? Is it fall? It's cold. It's chilly. Walked into the studio. It's chilly in here, so I ran and got my jacket. I'm so waiting I'm for the snow here. to start falling. You've got on a sweater, and we're both freezing to death. I it's changed so it the last minute yeah. before I left the house. I walked them out on my the on my porch, really... and I had on a short sleeve, well, a three-quarter sleeve shirt, and I thought, you know, this really cool. I'm, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna go in and change because I know it's often cool in here anyway. But well, I'm, I'm glad could, I changed. We could kill hogs today, y'all. That's we could kill hogs today. No, I'm gonna leave that to Walmart <coughs> meat processing. They're so good. Oh, <laughs> Make the go. best bacon in the world. There you go. Well, we have some birthdays, and I want to take care of that because you know, with storms, also you lose power. Please make sure your phones are charged up. If you have a complete charge on your phone and you do lose power, at least you can keep up with weather apps and yes. download a weather app and make sure that you keep up with our local weather. And truly, from Chattanooga down to Cherokee County, that's the area that's going to really affect us. Completely. So. Okay. Happy birthday to Janet Ponders, to Emily Towery, to Francis Wofford, to Jamie Cantrell, to uh, Trina Wright, to Chase Newton, to Lily Wolf, to Blake McFarland. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. And a happy birthday to Fred Freddie Allen Brackett. Brackett. Happy birthday, Freddie Brackett. I Good morning, you, Freddie. Happy, 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 you happy enjoy birthday. enjoy your day sitting there listening to the tin roof and the rain, and it is getting louder here. Now, is Cherokee County on spring break? <laughs> it is. It is. Fannin and, County is also. And Fannin's out, Gilmer's out, uh, Cherokee's out, Pickens is out, and then a lot of schools called schools today. Yes, they did. Because of the storms coming in, and I like when they do that. Although, weren't we talking about a school system who well, took the kids to school and is sending for them two hours. two hours? Does that make sense? I, no, I'd have kept mine at home. Yeah. But no, and that was one of the counties north of Chattanooga. I, I'm not from over there, so I don't know where Ray County and McMinn, mm -hmm. you know, I know where Hamilton <laughs> know County where and, and, you know, and Bradley County. But one of them went to started school, delayed start this morning, and then called it, said they were closing at 11. That I'd makes kept no home. sense. Why would you drag home. the kids out in this? No, I'd have kept no. mine home. Yeah, y'all may be able to hear it. It's really coming down, so y'all be careful out and, there. And truly, if you do have weather alerts happening in your area, if you see large hail, if you could send pictures to me on my Facebook, that would be great. Or you could call us at 866-939-2329, and we would love to put you on the air and let you tell us what you're seeing. The one thing about a tornado, and I remember this when it hit us on that Palm Sunday, it is so fast and it is so destructive. In less than 45 seconds, a 200-foot building was gone, completely gone. And you don't we couldn't always even hear, find that building. And you don't even hear that. Sometimes you don't hear that roar. Sometimes no. you can hear it coming, and then sometimes it just hits. And you do live down there in that area that yes. seems to be hit. Yeah. Tornado Alley, that's my address. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, when we um, were shopping for insurance, 
Pickens County and Cherokee County both fall in that zone where your insurance is a little bit higher because of Tornado Alley, because we do live where traditionally we get it. We get it. Well, you know, all of these wonderful apple blossoms that are coming out, we need the rain terribly. But for all of you that come up in October, if you don't have enough apples, it's because we may lose some apple blossoms. Right. We don't want that to happen. So, you know, we were looking for a nice moderate downfall and I think listening to that up on the roof right now it's yeah. a little more than moderate. It's a little more than moderate. And and also behind this 32 degrees, 32 to 35, you're supposed to be at 32, we're supposed to be exactly. at 35. 35 is a safety net, we'll be okay. 32 maybe not so much. So there will be once again crops going. Does Quinn's Nursery have a lot of their flowers out already? Yes they do. And there you go. There so, you go. And I, I was be... wondering about that because my brother and his wife came up yesterday and went out looking for, you know, they were looking for blueberry bushes. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody up there, I've noticed a lot of places have plowed for their gardens, but right. they don't plant yet because we've got a really late Easter this year. Sure. Yeah. And my mother used to say that you don't plant anything before Good Friday. And then, of course, James told well, me about... Well, your mom is slapping me right now because I planted and I probably shouldn't have, but I had a little idea I wanted to do it. And I can cover what I planted with sheets, can so you? maybe that'll be okay. Well, I, my peonies are coming up. You know what? I'm just going to roll the dice on it. They either will make it or they won't. James taught me to plant with the signs. I mm -hmm. didn't know about the Dawn, signs until I came up that. here. Yeah. Well, I've already... I mean, I got my my farmer's almanac, almanac out yeah. and I looked at the signs and I'm not going to plant much but mint and maybe one or two tomato bushes. It's mm -hmm. not like I'm mm -hmm. planting a garden or anything. I'm I'm looking forward to all these other Fannin County gardeners that will, or farmers that will have wonderful fruit and vegetables at the farmer's market right. in Blue Ridge in a, you know, in a few weeks. I put but out some lavender out by the porch because you can smell oh, it. it smells and I so thought good. that would be really cool. Does that mean I'll be sitting on the porch falling asleep because lavender is calming? Well, they say lavender <laughs> makes you go to sleep. I don't know. Lavender <laughs> makes me sneeze, so I probably would be awake. I don't, I I don't know, but I love to smell it. I do, love too. to smell I do, too. Well, a lot of herbs, but I love mint. I have a pot of mint by my back door. Just do regular mint, mint, not spearmint, not chocolate. I've found all these different kinds of mint, but just mint. I love it. I love it in my tea and my, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. especially in my lemonade. Mm -hmm. Love so it. So good. Or even a glass of water. If I make a or yep. if I make a jar of water, yep. I'll put mint and fruit in it, and I just love it. What do you it. call that? Um, not vitalized water, but um, infused water. Infused, infused water. water. Infused water. Yeah, and I love putting mint and kiwi and some lemon and some orange in it. That's a great combination. You know, a couple of years ago when I spent so much time over at Memorial, when Amos was in the hospital, their cafeteria always had two containers of the infused water. And one always had cucumber and something else in it. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't do raw cucumbers. I eat pickles in any way, but no raw, no, no raw cucumbers. But then they had one that had all, it had oranges and lemons and oh, just cherries. And, mm -hmm. all, and, and it was just, I would go down there just to get a cup of that because yeah, it was yeah. revital. Now, Especially like at two o'clock in the yeah. morning, it just would taste really, really yeah. good. But I would watch people drink that cucumber flavored water and go, <laughs> I, I don't it. know what's the matter with you. Actually, I like, you're going to think this is crazy. I like cucumber and blueberry combined. Cucumber, blueberry, Oh, I love and you, but no thank you. <laughs> it's really Why ruin good. a good blueberry? <laughs> It's, it's really funny, good. as much as I love pickles, everybody that knows me laughs uh, at me that I won't eat a raw cucumber. But oh, a bread and butter pickle, you know, right a sweet now, pickle. If somebody would bring me a loaf of white bread, some blue plate mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and a big old cucumber, I'd make you a cucumber sandwich. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I love it. I, I love remember it. when I we it. did the remote. <laughs> At R and A, and Jennifer them. made all of these cucumber sandwiches, I love and them. everybody just ate and ate and ate. And I'm passing them around like this because <laughs> I, I think the smell of cucumber. But what was she brought them. the tomato That's sandwiches so out? I was well, right today, there in line. In honor of my buddy Vicky, who is my partner in crime, and, and we try to help each other get through the days. And some days are up, some days are down. But I posted a song yesterday for my widow friends. Widow, yeah, widow friends. <laughs> <laughs> to think about this ding dong it was the man who left so yeah yeah the crazy girls yeah, yeah. and and i posted a song and it was it's diamond rio and it's i believe and when you listen to that song you know um if you've had a great husband it is very very hard to get over you don't all that loss all that loss and and i was looking at a picture of you and james the day you got married and you and james sitting at the um 
up at the community mill and you and James sitting somewhere else up at Blue Ridge at Town and Country when we did the show and I just thought once in a lifetime wonderful comes along. Sometimes you're lucky. Yeah. And and that, I've been lucky a couple of times. God's yeah. God has been really for whatever reason, God has been so good to me to give me some very good men in my life. Yeah, I, yeah. And I thank him for that every day. I've been lucky there will be people that won't know what Ever I've know had. That. No, well, no, no, no. And, I, and, that's, no. and that's a shame. Really a shame, but I don't. God's got a plan for me, and it took me a long time. You, you know what kind of shape I was in after yeah. James. Well, I was yeah. like that after Bob, too. Yeah. Yeah. But you just got you got to pick up and you got to keep going and you don't understand why. And you have to believe you, that you truly will see them again. Well, God you tells really us, and God again. tells us yeah. that. Yeah. And I, you know, God bless all of you. Keep Bonnie Roper in your hearts and prayers well, because Bonnie's going through what I went through. She's having a tough time. She's having yeah. a really tough yeah. time. Yeah. And, and I know what. And she's so We precious. know what. We know what that hard, that hurt is. And she's younger too. She's. Yep. You know she's. Younger, she's almost my daughter's age. I mean, it's just a little older than my daughter. But being with her that day, from the, the that morning, from when she lost him, through the those days of, of preparation and everything, I know that hurt. And there's just and, and Vicky, you know the same thing. There, you just you can't describe it. You can't. You can't get. And over you've it. been through it. You know, you just <clears throat> can't get it's, through. It's there. That hole in your heart never heals, but you just have to deal with it. That's what mm -hmm, God tells mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. And Bonnie's going through grief share right now, and I told her the other day, I said, you're a little raw, you're still very raw, but I've got some books for you that I don't want you to read for six months at least. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six months. Because you've got... That healing time has to happen before you really get. I might send them to Vicky to read, and then Vicky can send them back, and we'll send them to Bonnie because when yeah. did Vicky lose? Two years. Them? Okay, Two years. then Vicky, yeah. Vicky yeah. is at that yeah. point. Yeah. But yeah. we just all have to keep going. And we want to remind y'all. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about things that happen that you are unexpected. Um, we talked about Lee Bridgman yesterday and what their family has gone through because Lee, in his 30s, nobody had a clue that he had a heart issue, and and the heart really was, uh, you know, it just blew their mind. Thought he had indigestion at first, it got really bad, took him to the ER, and the Keystone Cops took over, and things kind of went crazy, and they shocked him twice, and they did this and this and this, and then find out that what he had really wasn't, he didn't need the shocking, he needed something else, but he has a great doctor today, and he has an appointment today at 245. So please keep the Bridgmans in your prayers. Keep Lee in your prayers. He is a young man, but they Absolutely. caught this early. And that is amazing because his grandmother and then I think another aunt and somebody else has this same issue. You, so don't, it must think be of, you don't think about uh, the, the, the trainer on America's Biggest Losers who uh -huh. had his that massive heart attack. He said if the doctors had not been in the gym when he was working out, he said, I'd be dead today. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, I, I'm on the show and sometimes y'all fuss at me for harping on it too much. But don't ignore no. what feels yeah. like stupid yeah. symptoms. And to don't my, ignore friend, to my friend Angela, who is ignoring the stupid symptoms, she has symptoms and she says it's just stress, it's just stress. It may very well be stress. Stress brings on heart issues. Heart. You need heart, to take care of yourself. Heart problems kill more women than everything else combined. Right. Don't, don't, don't ignore mess it. with it. Don't go to don't the doctor. Let it. him pat you on the head and say thank you for caring enough about yourself mm -hmm. to come in. Don't wait till the widow maker hits you or and something happens. And as people happens. are standing there going, Lord, who did her makeup? She don't look right. She don't look like herself. You don't want to hear those words. No, and you, don't you don't. Trust me. You don't want to hear that. But you you, you got to take care of yourself. Call the doctor if you've got indigestion. Stress. Stress is one of the biggest, the biggest absolute yeah. triggers of, yeah. Heart, yeah. of heart problems. Yeah. And Ms. that's Paula so and all of you down there, all of you bells, y'all be careful. Y'all mean a lot to Sherry. And I can't harp on... Go to your doctor well, near enough. Tim Jabley said if it, more people would come with indigestion. Yeah. He said... That would not bother me at all. He said, what bothers me is when I see them in the hospital or I go to the funeral home mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because they well, ignored Angela it. Well, looks like a picture of health. She exercises every day. She walks every day, but she's having chest tightness. Okay. Hello. Dang, that's, not, that's not just stress. <laughs> that's telling me get, go get, get, get checked out. Well, look at me when I had my attack. I, I looked fine. 
and all of a sudden no was ignoring my symptoms yep, yep, till one, yep. you know, my jaw tightened. And was tightened. yours AFib? Well, it was, the, the first was, the, no, the first one was the blockage. Oh, okay, I had one right. of those, I doctor, you know, Dr. Knapp said, honey, good thing What's you're here. What's that hitting. electrical thing that happens? I have AFib, that's what I have now. AFib. That's what, okay. that's when they went in and did the but ablation. But you didn't have to have a pacemaker. Well, no, they do the ablations before they do pacemaker. Okay, okay. And they usually like to, I've talked to people who have had two and three and four ablations before they'll do the pacemaker. And is that where they go up with us? They go up. They go in and shock the the parts of the heart. You you learn that there are two types of cardiologists. There are the plumbers, Mm -hmm. which put the stents in and clean out, you know, roto root that. And then there are the electricians that go in because the electrical charges that are happening in your heart are misfiring and not doing the right thing. Have you ever been shocked? Have they ever shocked you? Yes. They Is shocked me when I had my wa- no. I was out in, oh, okay. in my weight loss surgery when, oh, okay. when every, they shocked me twice during my weight loss surgery. Okay, but no, do whatever you have to do to keep me here until it's God's yeah. will to take me home. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. now I'm real funny. I watch my symptoms very, very closely. I keep a log. Absolutely, because uh, I still have and some AFib situations. And keeping a log does show if there's a stress situation, that is what's triggering this. Well, you, so. you know, I, I go see my plumber, I go see my electrician, and I go see the maintenance cardiologist. Jen, go see the sheetrock guy and get him to read it. <laughs> I'm working on Eric to do that. I'm guy. working on Eric to do that very thing. I'm, tr- I'm trying my Maybe best. We can get I'm, tr- I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Oh Lordy, that's funny. Oh, we, well, gonna... when we leave here today, we're going to get muddy, young lady. I, know we are. I can just tell. There's not going to be any dry. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, I'm going to share something that I think y'all will enjoy. I think you will enjoy this music. I think you will enjoy the young man doing the music, and I think you will just enjoy sitting at home today listening to a really cool song. So sit back, pay attention to our sponsors. Please support our sponsors. I was thinking about that this morning. Paul Kiker will be with us tomorrow. He has been with me for over 10 years. He's such a good, good guy. Now his did dad, Paul have the same kind of situation that Lee has? His daddy had a heart issue. His dad I heard, I heard Travis Paul, talking about that. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, but he's fine 20 years later. So if you take care of business and if you let the doctors know all your symptoms, then you can live a long and healthy life. And that's Absolutely. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Or you can do like me and not take care of anything, still live a long and healthy life. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> and y'all- you have never been so happy, dancing, swinging, laughing at me, smile on my face. It's happiness for days, uh oh. You are everything I need. Happy ever after will be. Couldn't even dream a better, couldn't even dream a better way. Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome Blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. Since 1962, Gilmer Towing has been serving the North Georgia area and would like to say thanks to all of our customers. For over 48 years, Gilmer Towing has carried on a family tradition with an experienced and friendly staff that offers 24-hour damage-free towing, unlocks, and four-wheel drive recovery. So when you're stuck in a ditch, tires flat, or car won't start, give us a call. Local or long hauls, big or small, Gilmer Towing will get them all. Give us a call today at 706-636-4TOW. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, 
cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Best agents in the business. Call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. It's been so many years ago, I don't remember, but uh, if, if he didn't, then what's wrong with him? That's right, that's right. Well, we were sitting in, was it Hickory Flat? At Hickory Flat yeah. Fellowship Hall yeah. at a concert mm -hmm. one night, and um, Joy Master sang, Glory Bound sang, and as they were about to leave the stage, you said, ask him to sing Never Again. And I said, why you want him to sing Never Again? And he said, no, it's a song. You heard this song about 20 years ago. I had went to, to one of Derek's uh, practice sessions, and he said, I've got this song that I just wrote. I want uh, to play it and see what you think about it. And there was a couple of people besides myself there, but I loved it. I've loved it ever since the day I heard it. Well, basically that night we wrote a note on a piece of paper and it said, Sing Never Again. Now, he could have looked down there and thought, those people don't ever want me to sing again, but he knew the song. And he looked up very shocked and he said, how did you remember that song? It made an impact on you, didn't it? It sure did. And when he told me that he never recorded it mm -hmm. in 20 years, Right. I was, that floored me. Uh -huh. I said, put it on a CD. It's got to be recorded. That's right. Well, today people are going to get to hear it. We're going to do, we're going to show a, a cooking excerpt from years ago. I've decided to pull out some of the old files, and we're pulling out some of the old music from 20 years ago. We're going to pull out some things from our past, and we're going to share these with you. You know, everybody has certain memories of things they loved. You loved that song. I've chosen a recipe today that I loved and a show I love doing, and we're going to share that with y'all. I've decided it is truly chilling time. Now that we've driven all the miles you've driven, and I've cooked for folks, and we've done a lot of meeting and greeting, we've sold a ton of cookbooks. We're down to about 20 or 21 yeah. cookbooks, and then they're over until I produce them again. So, so we've done a lot of time out there really working hard, and now this is kind of our downtime. And the way we enjoy our downtime is to pick things from the past that I liked and that you liked. And I'm going to share it with folks. Now, we had Derek on North Georgia Now today, yesterday. And what you're going to get to see is from the morning show. Now, we have a great piano at the studio, and he loves sitting down to that piano. We put a little bit of heat on him. When he got there, he was prepared to do one song. We made him do three. You're going to get to hear two on today's program. Now, talk about the last song he's going to do because you lost your brother to cancer. I did three years ago. Uh, and the song that was requested to be, one of the songs to be requested at my brother's funeral was Go Rest High. Mm -hmm. And it was not, uh, Derek was not there to do it, but uh, it was, uh, you know, I don't even remember. I can't even tell you who did it. Uh, but it was done and it is a beautiful song. And, mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's been sung at a lot of funerals. I think Derek told us yesterday on the morning show he had done it 700 times. Wow, that's 700 amazing. 700 times. Wow. And, and it is a song that touches everybody. It is. So today you're not only going to get to hear Derek singing his own song that had never been recorded yesterday. 
we're kind of breaking ground, something a little bit different. Um, we're going to take something that he never put on a project. I don't know why. Now, you know the story about why he wrote this song. Can you share that with us? His uh, wife, Carla, her grandmother was in the nursing home, and Derek said that he'd go by every day, every afternoon, to sit and visit with her. And he said that she said that uh, she, her being invalid in bad shape, uh, she kept saying, one of these days, I'll never have to do this again. I, mm -hmm. I won't, never again will I have to go through what she was going through. Mm -hmm. And from that, Derek wrote the song, Never Again. Mm -hmm. And that is, it's very touching. And, and I know the song means a lot to Derek. But um, I think Derek just kind of put it on the back burner because he didn't think that, you know, anybody would really care to hear the song, but I believe different. Oh, yeah. Well, the night you requested it, he did, and he said, I don't know if I know all the verses, but you're going to get to hear Derek sitting here singing a song he wrote 20 years ago. Now, 20 years ago, it meant a lot to him emotionally. And when he lost the grandma, um, he told us about how hard it was to attend her funeral. But when you listen to this song, you will understand it's important for us to share it with you today because it touched me so much. Now, it touched you for 20 years, and I didn't even know it existed. Sit back right now, and you're going to get to hear, you know, he's a singer by love. He's a banker by profession, but he's such an awesome, awesome young man. Sure and I hope is. in the near future you'll get to meet his daughter, Bailey, because she is also next generation coming up singing and playing with her dad. Right now, we're going to go to one of my favorite people in the world. Derek is going to sing Never Again for you. Sit back and enjoy this.
it back in But to know your answer Never again Never again On this side of glory hope y'all enjoyed that just as much as I did. Freddie, thank you for recommending that song. And for you ETC folks, and you got to enjoy Derek, I'm so glad that we had him on the show that day. And it is crazy because he, he worked in banking for many, many years, and then now he works at the funeral home down That's at South he's Canton. Funeral home he in is, Canton. he's at South, South Canton. Canton. Um, good guy, good family. You know him as Daily Bread. He and his daughter and some other folks appear at, at about every everywhere you ever ask him to go. There they are, but great music. And, and he wrote that song over 20 years ago. Um, and it, it never Never again, when we get to where we're going, never again when we have any of those heartache, any of those pains, any of those things that we do oh, here today. I know, it's just... You know, any of that being alone and, and you know, feeling that gut-wrenching loneliness because there are so many people, the loneliness The euphoria that will take over once we pass through those gates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, now, we have to talk about something very, very sad with a very, very happy ending. Well, we Edworth hope. First Baptist Church has had the most amazing pastor. For 29 years. For 29 years. And I love him, love his precious wife, love him, love him, love him. He will be missed. But boy, if anybody deserves retirement, this young man Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Sunday morning, we had a great service. They altar call, and all of a sudden he's saying, well, would you please be seated? And you could just hear the... <gasps> in the audience because he tried this about a year ago yeah. and everybody talked him out of it but he read his letter mm -hmm. and didn't give him six months or anything to, mm -hmm. and he said May the 28th would be his final day with the church right? and he feels that God has told him that his work at Epworth First Baptist Church has come to an end mm -hmm. and he's going to be pursuing some other, he hasn't told us what he's going to be pursuing. We hope it's in the area and that we still have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the opportunity to see them and be around them. But Tom, Tom and Priscilla Jordan will be missed as a family within oh the church of Epworth First Baptist Church. And of course, you know, you all hold your breath because you have a church that is as strong and as dynamic as First Baptist is with a minister as strong and as involved with every family that, as his, that man has not been. And not a two-day-a-week job. No, it is not. He, he is, is a seven days, 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not unusual to see him walking through the halls of Fuqua Heart Center. One of the, you know, whenever you're down there, you know that, that, that he's going to show up or any, anywhere else. I mean, they they hadn't even gotten me out of the emergency room from Fannin one time, and he was there at the hospital. He had, Michelle mm -hmm. had sent him a text, and he drove right over there. But absolutely, he is an integral part of the lives of the members of Epworth First Baptist Church. Yep. And yes, they, they've got new grandbaby. They... No one any more dedicated than they are, mm. but it, it's a, it was everybody on Sunday morning. Everybody was lining up to give him a hug and talk to him, and I heard several people say, "I can't stand to lose my pastor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my pastor, my pastor." Well, I, so he still got to preach my funeral. I heard two ladies oh, say, Lordy. "But he will be missed, but he'll be in our thoughts and prayers, and we all wish the very best for now, them." Now, will the deacons do a search? I hope they do. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. Is there a, an associate pastor who could step up? There is an associate pastor. I don't know what the process on all of that will be. Don't ask me to even second guess it. Mm -hmm. I haven't even talked to any of the deacons yet. I think Sunday was 
I don't I think it came as a shock. He announced it in the early, the 8.30 service. And so Alice Griggs said after the 11 o'clock service, she said, I knew it was coming because, but she said when he asked us to sit down this in the early service, she said, I looked at John and said, he's retiring. But like I said, he tried a year ago, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the church just wouldn't accept it. Just literally said, no, <laughs> we're, going, going, we're going to chain you to the pulpit. You can't yeah, go. Yeah. But I think we've been very blessed, and he mm -hmm. has built a phenomenal church, and it is a strong congregation. It will continue a strong congregation. Uh, I, I heard several people, and I've said it myself, those, that's a pair of shoes I wouldn't want to have to follow never, in. Never, never. You know, you need never. someone on the Matt Dobler. Yeah. Category that, yeah. to do that, well, but to fill a Tom Jordan, that, to fill a Tom Jordan pulpit is going to be a very hard job for anyone. This weekend, I had some things I didn't even know I had, and it was Matt. I went to Crossroads Baptist Church, and Matt was preaching, and we had fantastic choir. And Epworth's choir reminds me a lot oh, of this boy, absolutely. because they have some certain special voices that just stand out. Completely. And I was cleaning out and going through and sorting stuff, and I found these DVD or CDs. And I listened to him over the weekend, and I would listen to this message, and I could remember the Sunday he delivered that message, and what a powerful message it was. There will be people for years who will remember something Tom Jordan said. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's planted a seed in so many people. Well, to sit in the church and watch so many people making the notes from the sermon in their Bible, mm -hmm. that they'll have that for the rest of their life. Right. And you know, on the back of the bulletin, there are there, there's a place for the notes on that day's sermon anyway, and you see a lot of people with a lot of, of those tucked into their Bibles. It's... He has made a mark that will never Forever. be erased. Yeah. Never, yeah. ever be yeah. erased. Yeah. Well, I am... <clears throat> everybody knows I don't like change. I don't like things to go. I, I just, me. I'm very... Yeah, I don't want to change there either. I don't like change. And um, when my, my dear friend, Billy Emmett, left Cool Springs Baptist Church, I could not handle it. And I cried, and I cried. His wife, Gail, was, we were great friends. I would give her a perm, and she would sit and listen to me, and we would visit and talk and play around with our kids, and just, just had a great, great church family. And when Billy left, it never felt right. We had some great preachers come in behind him, but I just missed that. I missed his kindness. I missed her. You lose, you lose some hard. members. You it's lose some people. Hard. I heard a couple of people Sunday say, "Oh, I just, I don't, I don't know that I want to be here without them." You know, well, and, and you and think, that's and kind that's, of stingy, and that's, you know, that's kind of selfish. <coughs> and I'm not going to say who it was, but I don't think they meant it in yeah, a selfish yeah. way. Well, I, but, I felt that way when Billy left Cool Springs. Exactly. I said, I can't go back there without them. I can't go back, and I did. I went through two different preachers, and then, you know, decided to do something. And else. another strong person comes in and does things their way. It's just going to be, you've, you're used to doing something a certain way well, for 29 years, nearly 30 age, years. Basically, the he's congregation raised him. Absolutely. <laughs> he's a, he's still him. a young man. <laughs> there's so much that he can do. And there's a lot, uh, you know, there are things coming on that are going to be happening at the college. He's over the college over there. And again, he says, God's got a plan for me. And when you are as God-driven as they are, you follow God's plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know if she'll stay at Aikens. You know, she's mm -hmm, at Aikens mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. on the highway in Blue Ridge. She's very much the face. You know, you think of her more of Aikens than you do of, of Doug sometimes mm -hmm. because you walk in and Priscilla's there. But I think it'll be interesting to see where God takes them and what God does have in store for them because whatever it will be, it will be done greatly and it will mm -hmm. be done with class and finesse and and with absolute love and, and devotion to their father. They oh will my be missed. They will be missed. The watermelon. <laughs> That's the first thing you and I went to that church for was watermelon. Watermelon night on Sunday but, night. But, and the and Barker I, Brothers were saying. I'm, I'm making that so trivial. But, I mean, it's just, there are just so many things about that church that it just so completely, I, I thank God that he baptized me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so glad that, that, I, that he baptized us. You were there. Well, but guess it, where we're going in just a little bit. Where are we going? Down the river, because do y'all hear the rain? Yeah, we're going to float. <laughs> do y'all hear the rain? I'm, I'm going to have to fight it going back up north. I don't know how much north. rain has fallen since we've been on the air, but it has been a steady, solid, solid, solid rain here. I'm worrying about those peach like. and apple blossoms oh, that are being man. knocked off well, the trees. I really, I really and truly We am. need the rain, but goodness gracious sakes alive. But you know, it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. 
And I did learn yesterday that our friends at RNA are having customer appreciation out at RNA Orchards this weekend on the 8th and 9th. So if you're around and you're out on, on a beautiful weekend, please go by RNA and go tell them hello. Get, listen, Apple pie. If you don't buy anything but a pint of their hot pepper jelly. Oh my gosh. And make the chicken salad like I make the chicken salad. Make yourself the sandwiches. Put the hot pepper jelly on one slice of bread. Oh, we the cooked, chicken we salad did that on the one other. Day. Put it together. Slice it in little triangles. Cover your whole tray of it. Put it in the fridge for about an hour to let the blend of the flavors. Oh, my Lord have mercy. Or put it on cream cheese on a cracker. That's, That's what right. I like. That's oh, right. absolutely. That hot pepper or, jelly is so oh. yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, I'm going to be wanting to make chicken salad. Who's got chicken on sale this week? I'll have to find some chicken I on sale. I love to do Cornish game hens and, yeah. then, and then brush the Cornish hens yes. and, and brown them yes. off with yep. that. Yeah. Absolutely. But, but go out to RNA. Is it, have strawberries come and gone? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, because I, don't, I, don't, I went this time. Of, I think it was this time of year we went out to. They RNA. may. It might have been. I don't know because I don't eat strawberries much anymore. And but I'm trying to remember by driving past where Sears if I because usually they all have the same. Mm -hmm. You right. you pick. I'm. I don't know. But if you haven't made my strawberry cobbler, go out to RNA. If they have strawberries or blueberries, it works either way. Just cover your fruit in straw in um, Sprite, like this this much liquid over your fruit, and then do a stick of butter, three quarters cup of sugar, three quarters a fourth cup of flour. Melt the butter, put it all together, sprinkle it on top of that, bake it, and you've got the quickest, easiest cobbler you Absolutely ever put in your delicious. mouth. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. And it's you know the only sugar you have on this fruit is from the Sprite because you don't add sugar to the fruit. You just use the blueberries, the only ones it works with, <coughs> excuse me, blueberries and peaches. So, I mean, blueberries and strawberries. And Mountain Dew will do awesome. the same thing. Yeah, sure, because it has that, that sugar that, in that it. That same sweet yeah, sugary yeah. drink. There you go, so check that out. We're going to go to a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to share a little something from the past with you. I think you um, you might enjoy this. I know a lot of you women sitting at home are going to enjoy this. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. And for you guys on Facebook. With speeds up to 150 meg, ETC and Ignite delivers more, more, more. More shopping, more music, more learning, more streaming. More speed to power smartphones, movies, and streaming video. More speed for more devices in your home. And more room in your budget with ETC's low pricing and bundled discounts. Get the fastest internet around with Ignite's new 150 meg. More speed, more savings. Call ETC today. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Chevy runs deep in Canton at Bill Holt Chevrolet. Deeper selection, deeper discounts, and we're letting everybody know it. Not just Chevy buyers in Atlanta. Chevy buyers in Blairsville, Blue Ridge, Jasper, and LJ. If you're out there, we're right here with one huge selection at Truck HQ. Always get our lowest prices and friendliest service. Online, BillHoltGM.com. Because when you're talking trucks, you're talking Truck HQ. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, 
It's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. like that big time. No, not that we've get, ever. Okay. I hope you ladies are at home working hard. Making a coconut and, cake or something yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Like that song. That is from the 70s and it is one of those when I heard it I said, yeah, I could have played that a few times, about a hundred million times in the 70s. Because in the 70s, women had a little different lifestyle. Very much so. We were in charge of everything, working. Men didn't used to, boy, I'm going to get in trouble, but men didn't used to jump in and help with the kids. I, I, I never had a they didn't husband help with diaper. dinner. They didn't I help with the house. I never had a husband diaper a kid. Never had a husband make a meal. Never had a husband do any of that stuff. I cut the grass, for goodness sake. So it just, I don't know what generation of women got the guys involved, but I guess that's a good thing because now the guys are cutting grass, the guys are even helping with the meals, the guys, the guys are, are canning, with the look, at, look at the pictures at the cannery, sure, people are, sure. you so know. It's a different generation. It is. And we were talking on Facebook, but all of you that are out there in our listening audience, on April the 29th, you'll see some men doing a lot of hard work down at Cherry Log. Mm -hmm. So we want you to come by for the Ramp Fest. Delicious meal, great baked goods, a nice craft show. Just a beautiful Saturday in the North Georgia Mountains. It's April be fun. 29th. And, and April 29th, Ramp Festival, Cherry Log. Value for food. They're great and a good time. And, food. and just yeah. a good time. Yeah. And, yeah. and all of that food will be it, it's not canned and it's not no, it's and it's not, not instant potatoes. Because uh -uh. I'm gonna be peeling all the potatoes <laughs> that Michelle's gonna go pick up. Yeah. But absolutely some great food to be cooked there that day. So come on down and, and like I said, the the baked goods booth alone is worth the trip to Cherry Log mm -hmm. because there you talk about great people baking but we have men and women that bake yeah yeah and they'll have their products there 
And, and I'm sitting here thinking what I'd give for one of those biscuits and gravy right now. Oh. Right now. Oh. <laughs> right now. Well, tenderloin biscuits and <laughs> right gravy. Now. Right tenderloin now. biscuits and uh. gravy. But April 29th in Cherry Log. I want to see all of y'all there. Okay, and I want to get get your calendars out right now and put down May 20th and 21st on your calendar because that day Gibbs Gardens is having their first art show. It is going to be a juried art show. Larry Dodson will be involved in it. There will be about 40 artists come hungry, eat one of those fantastic chicken salad sandwiches or pimento cheese sandwiches. They make pimento cheese or chicken salad. She makes great homemade uh, pound cakes and chocolate chip cookies. You can have a picnic out there in the little Garden Arbor Cafe and just make plans that is May 20th and 21st. I enjoyed the DVD it's you showed on a Saturday the other day. And, Sunday. and right now I want to see if we can kind of queue up that DVD. This is a different one and we're going to go off the air just showing a little bit of it. Okay. So about the last four minutes we're going to do that. But um, I want you to come to Gibbs Gardens. You know, shamefully, I've known about it for five years. I've been one time. But that one time really hooked me. James took me one time. I loved it. We were I out just... It doing like we would do and he said well let's just let's just go yeah and yeah. we did and we but it, it wasn't like we were there for 12 hours no no two hours you can see and do and you're you just it's but a I love the serenity of the the Jap you know, Japanese the gardens Japanese is gardens my favorite. Just yes. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And I said if you can walk 15 minutes, stop and take a little break, walk 15 minutes, stop and take a little break, then you don't feel like I'm worn out when I leave there. And then, you know, maybe halfway through, stop and have your lunch. And then, you know, before you leave, do a couple more 15-minute walks. It's fantastic. And, and buy yourself and buy your mama for Mother's Day a $50 card that gets her unlimited visits for one year. For one year. Mama could go 350 times a, a year if she wanted to. Well, they're not And the seasons days, change, so the, so the gardens change sure. completely. Every three weeks they change. So, Michelle, are we getting any weather forecast or anything? Anything updated? It's north between Blue Ridge, Cherry Log, and Herb. Blue Ridge, Cherry Log, harder hit than we are here? Right hmm. Interesting. And, and where I'm Cherokee going and County? you're going to miss it. LJ, too. And what about Cherokee County? It's just showing overcast and no lightning. Okay. Overcast See, and lightning, lightning and, and me cherry. To death. Lightning, lightning, scares lightning me. is almost lightning can destroy things. Rain sure it can. often doesn't, but lightning yeah. lightning again, lightning can hit something and the next thing you know your house is on fire. That's right. So, so be lightning cautious. scares me more than anything. I know my two little dogs are sitting up in McKaysville just uh. Sca they scared to death. They just don't. They don't do this kind of weather well at all. Oh, I'm with them. I'm they just with don't them. do. It. And let them. the thunder hit, and boy, they just are both up under the bed. It just they don't like it at well, all. Well, we are gonna. We're gonna actually go off now and just lead you into a DVD. So we're gonna stay with you on Facebook, but we, we want y'all to see a little bit today as you're sitting home in the dreary, gloomy, doomy, duh kind of weather. I want you to take a trip to Gibbs Gardens, and I think this is the Manor House Garden, if I remember right. Just, just sit back and look and imagine a beautiful sunny day and load up yourself, load up your friends, load up your mama, load up your daddy, load up whoever you want to and come and spend the day at Gibbs Gardens. So here we go with that. And for you on Facebook who haven't been to Gibbs Gardens, for $50 you get such Years an amazing experience amazing provided me with the wisdom and vision to design and develop a public garden for all seasons. My goal was to create a garden with a balance of natural and man-made beauty, a place for visitors to enjoy the magnificent colors of seasonal flowers and the harmony of nature. I spent six years diligently searching for a property with an abundance of water, rolling topography, and a woodland of mature hardwood trees. In 1980, my dream came true. I discovered 292 acres of beautiful land in Cherokee County, Georgia and began the design process for my personal residential gardens. Gibbs Gardens has 16 garden venues. Three of these are feature gardens. The Manor House, the Japanese Gardens, and the Water Lily Gardens. I hope you enjoy your video tour of Arborcrest the manor house.
arrival begins through a three-fourth mile meandering tree-covered drive. The extensive canopy of mature trees forms a cathedral ceiling. You will pass a tranquil pond with reflections of a European gazebo. Gazing up, see the house cresting 150 feet above the valley. Cascading layers of garden rooms and woodland embrace the home. Garden rooms flow from each side of the house and enlarge the lifestyle of the home. gate near the front door beckons you along a path beside the house and winds gently to the top of Arbor Crest, overlooking the house and the North Georgia mountains. descends to the guest house and sounds of waterfalls lure you to a beautiful pool with colorful plantings. Yeah. 